You ever tried shawarma? <clears throat> There's a shawarma joint about two blocks from here. When it comes to junk food, everybody's got their own guilty pleasure. Whether you have more of a sweet tooth or a passion for the salty, there's a junk food oh, for everyone, yeah. so to speak. So here are more of the top 10 iconic junk foods. Part two, Snickers. You get a little cranky when you're hungry. Better? Much better. You're not you when you're hungry, and that's a problem. So Snickers is here to make sure this never happens. This chocolate bar made with nougat, caramel, and peanuts has been around for a solid 90 years and has since been popping up in our lives consistently, and sometimes without us even realizing it. Seriously, how many times have you used the famous you're not you when you're hungry slogan when you saw someone getting disagreeable and peckish? It's been so anchored in today's pop culture that it just became a normal way of dealing with hangriness. Just toss them a Snickers and it'll pass. The candy bar has always made its presence known in advertisements, like their Super Bowl commercials. Many legendary actors like Joe Pesci and Betty White have appeared in commercials that have helped shape the brand. With a delicious taste and a feisty personality, it's no wonder people are in love with Snickers. And all I have in my bag is a half-eaten Snickers bar. KFC Fried Chicken. His fingers looking good. As one of the best-kept culinary secrets of all time, Colonel Sanders' recipe of 11 herbs and spices for his famous fried chicken has been around since the early 1950s. It was initially sold at a roadside service station and was quickly franchised, and today there are over 23,000 KFC restaurants in over 140 countries. How's that for a roadside sale? The crispy, greasy, and finger-licking good barrel of chicken at KFC is so iconic that it was even published in Douglas's collection of America's Most Wanted Recipes, a compilation of famous recipe dupes. I'm home. While the actual real recipe has never been officially released and is kept under lock at the KFC headquarters, there is a lot of speculation surrounding a leaked recipe going around the internet. Nothing can be proven, though, unless the very few people who actually know the recipe come clean. So it still remains a mystery. Many attempts have been made over the years to try and recreate this classic chicken. So classic and tasty, in fact, that it's become a traditional Christmas Eve dinner in Japan. It's so popular around that time of year that people need to order their buckets months in advance. Who needs turkey when you have Kentucky Fried Chicken? These don't even come with a toy, and I don't care. McDonald's Big Mac. At the end of the week, you have a free Big Mac. Okay, you all knew this was coming. This McDonald's item is the second best seller after the french fries, the Big Mac. This huge, greasy, and delicious delight has been on the McDonald's menu since the late 1960s and has become a staple of fast food burgers and an American favorite. Seriously, it's often used as a symbol of American capitalism and is even used as a way to compare the cost of living in different countries. The Big Mac Index, yes, a real thing, Thing is serious business indeed. The burger was originally called the Aristocrat, but McDonald's thought it sounded way too rich and fancy for what it was. Big Mac's Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. There's almost like a cult following when it comes to this burger, honestly. From McCoins to museums, the Big Mac frenzy is an actual thing. With over 550 million Big Macs sold each year, which is roughly about 17 per second, they're basically a force of nature that no one could ever dethrone. Sorry, Whopper, but we don't make the rules, the people do. And the people have spoken. They want Big Macs. I'm never brushing my teeth again. Ice cream sandwiches. Ice cream time! What a true frozen treat staple, the ice cream sandwich. Who as a kid didn't go crazy when their parents brought home a box of their favorite brand of these delicacies? Klondike, Fat Boy, everyone had their pick. Its origins trace all the way back to the late 1800s when New York street vendors began selling Hokey Pokies, the very first version of the ice cream sandwich. Back then, it was merely a humble sandwich made of only ice cream held together by two pieces of paper and costs only one penny. My last 
penny. Not going to lie, they do sound way more appealing today than they did back then. Cookies beat paper hands down. Over time, sponge cake began to be used as the bread, and this evolved to become the good old soft cookies we all know and love. Today, the possibilities are endless. Graham crackers, chocolate chip cookies, waffles, you name it, anything can bear your block of ice cream and create this yummy treat. It even has its own dedicated day, the National Ice Cream Sandwich Day, celebrated on August 2nd. An iconic treat with an iconic legacy. That's exactly the kind of junk food we all need in our lives. Feel like salty and sweet. Doritos. I'm not paying you back for gas. Or the Doritos. These chips are literally the definition of iconic. They don't even need to be named. Just picture a red and blue bag with a triangle label and you're probably all thinking about the same brand, Doritos. As a fairly new addition to the chip snacking world, Doritos is probably one of the most well-known tortilla-based snacks. So much so that Doritos launched an ad for the chips without mentioning the name of the brand even once. Just one look at the packaging was enough to know exactly what they were talking about. With over 100 different flavors produced over the years, there's bound to be a flavor perfect to satisfy your specific craving. In the mood for something ranch-ish and light, the Cool Ranch Doritos are there. Looking for something with a little more spice? The Spicy Nacho. A cheesy, nostalgic mood? The Classic Nacho Cheese is your go-to. Basically, anything you feel like having, you can find it in a Doritos bag. No matter what the flavor, we're just glad they found their way into our hearts and stomachs. Anyone mind if I open fragrant Doritos in a tiny room? Oh. Oh. Cheese it. There are cheese its in there. Cheese its. Another cheesy, salty, and delicious treat has weaseled its way onto this list of iconic junk foods, and it's not really a mystery as to why. Almost every American probably has a box or two of Cheez-Its in their pantries as we speak. It's almost inevitable, and who can blame us? They're small, easy to snack on, and overflowing with flavor. And they don't leave noticeable orange dust on your fingers, unlike some other cheesy snack brand who shall not be named. You know who you are, Chester. Wait. I can't touch this. Cheez-Its have been around since the 1920s, and the brand has been owned by four different companies over the years. But despite its constant switch in leadership, Cheez-Its still managed to win over the public's taste buds to become a beloved brand of salty snacks, even if the brand has encountered some bumps in the road over the years, like the time a fight broke out in a home in Atlanta over a box of Cheez-Its, or when Kellogg's was sued by the whole grain police because the flour being used used wasn't all that whole. Cheez-Its are undeniably one of the best snacks ever invented. For heaven's sake, there's even a Cheez-Its pizza. How can anyone compete with that? That's good cheese! Pizza from Pizza Hut. Okay, technically I work at the weird in-store Pizza Hut. Yes, pizza all by itself is already an iconic dish. With mountains of melted cheese, tomato sauce, and all the toppings you can think of, it's safe to say it's one of the most referenced meals in our modern times. But one chain in particular has stepped up in terms of leaders in the pizza industry, and that's Pizza Hut. First created in 1958 when two college students decided to open a pizza parlor in a small rented building in their hometown in Kansas, Pizza Hut quickly grew and eventually became the largest pizza company in the world, with over 14,000 restaurants in 100 different countries. Pizza. What pizza? So what makes Pizza Hut so special and, well, iconic? Well, it's gotta be the delicious cheese-stuffed crust invented in the 1990s. This not only sprouted several other variations of the stuffed crust, like the very controversial cheeseburger crust and the Cheesy Bites crust, but it changed the way we all thought pizza could be made. They were also early getting in the pan pizza game, which they introduced in 1983. For an iconic, cheesy pizza experience, Pizza Hut just might be the best place you can go to. Yeah, I'd like to order one large person with extra people, please. M&M's. 
Oh my God, look, a bowl of M&Ms. Oh, M&Ms, what would we do without your classic, talking, multicolored, button-shaped chocolates that have been gracing our screens for years? So many iconic spokes candies were introduced to us, like the sardonic red, the dim-witted yellow, prideful blue, alluring Miss Green, and paranoid orange. They all played a crucial role in the advertisements, first introduced in 1995. You might also be familiar with the M&M's World Store that's situated right in the middle of Times Square, or the one in Las Vegas, or in Shanghai. M&M stores are literally everywhere. Okay, well, six locations to be exact, but still. Party pack of M&M's, it's favorite candy. Offering so many varieties from plain chocolate to peanuts to almonds and even the newly released fudge brownie, M&M's are easily one of the most loved and practical chocolate snacks on the market. The perfect movie snack, period. In fact, M&M's are so loved that in 1982, they thought that the inclusion of the chocolate treat in Steven Spielberg's blockbuster movie E.T. wouldn't be such a big deal, so they declined to have them in the the film. The gig instead went to Reese's Pieces and it increased their sales by 300%. Maybe M&Ms are loved, but that exposure certainly wouldn't have hurt their wallets. Do you think I'm an idiot? Coca-Cola. Do you really want to live in a world without Coca-Cola? Whether it's on a hot summer day or on a late night soda run, the most iconic soft drink you can get is Coca-Cola. Okay, so we all know soft drinks aren't exactly good for us. Coca-Cola has been a part of American daily life and celebration since 1886, over 134 years ago. Who cares if it's not the picture of health? You see it everywhere. On billboards, on TV, in magazines, even in foreign countries, in over 200 countries to be precise. The Coca-Cola logo is said to be recognized by over 94% of the world's population and is the second most understood term in the world behind OK. Whoa! The Coca-Cola brand is worth $74 billion and represents over 31% of the beverages consumed around the world. This adds up to about 1.7 billion servings per day. Impressed yet? You might be familiar with a tall, large man with a belly full of jelly who goes from house to house and delivers presents. That's right, Santa Claus has been a close friend of the company since the 1920s and has been appearing in their ads every Ever since. Coca-Cola has helped shape Santa's image over the years and is even partially responsible for the old man's attire, the red and white suit. Two icons united? You can't beat that. Now don't give Santa that. Coke is Coke! Pringles. Cheddar and barbecue wavy and sour cream and onion equals a three-layer dip stack. Cheddar, Cheddar and barbecue wavy and sour cream and onion equals a three-layer dip stack. stack. More like formed crisps than chips, Pringles are iconic for more than one reason. First off, the packaging. Either extremely genius or unbelievably evil. It was first thought of as a way to minimize the chips from breaking so they could keep their shape. But let's be honest, it's not always the most practical. How many times have you found yourself elbow deep in a tube of Pringles trying to get the last few wandering chips? Probably way too many times, but we can't ignore the fact that there is a certain satisfaction in getting uncracked, fully formed, saddle-shaped chips almost every time. Fun fact about the packaging is that the developer of the tubes, Frederick Bauer, even asked for his ashes to be buried in one. A little weird, but then again, he did create a new iconic way to enjoy snacking. How many Pringles flavor stack combinations are there? 318,000. Now, the shape. The distinctive saddle shape of a Pringle has a lot of thought behind it, and a lot of science. It took a long time and a lot of trial and error to obtain the shape we are all familiar with today. The combination of water, potato flakes, and cornstarch is rolled into a flat potato sheet, cut and shaped under four tons of pressure, fried in hot oil, coated with seasoning, back flipped off a conveyor belt, packed and then delivered to your local grocery store all in perfect stacks just for you. Pringles are for champions only. Dig into more great videos and tap that screen. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.